What's up, folks? I saw something today online, and it really fucking bothered me. This news story about an old man who was arrested for feeding the homeless. Watch this clip right quick, and I'll be right back with you. I believe that I am my brother's keeper. Love thy neighbor as thyself. 90-year-old Arnold Abbott prepares hundreds of meals each week for the homeless in the kitchen of the Sanctuary Church. We serve two, two entrees at every feeding. But Abbott's work now has him in trouble with the law. Why is he being arrested? He faces possible jail time and a $500 fine for feeding the homeless after he was charged Sunday with violating a new ordinance that virtually outlaws groups from sharing food with the hungry in the city. One of the police officers came over and said, drop that plate right now. And so I was carrying a weapon. Also charged was a minister from Coral Springs and sanctuary church pastor, Dwayne Black. We believe very strongly that Jesus taught us that we are to feed his sheep. Mayor Jack Seiler warned arrests were coming. We enforce the laws here in Fort Lauderdale. It's man's inhumanity to man. Back in 1999, Abbott sued the city for banning him from feeding homeless on the beach. A lawsuit he won. I'm going to have to go to court again to sue the city of Fort Lauderdale, the beautiful city. These are the poorest of the poor. They have nothing. They don't have a roof over their head. And who could turn them away? Abbott's going to be firing up these stoves again on Wednesday when he's got another food sharing plan for the beach. He says he doesn't want to be arrested, but he's prepared for the possibility. In Fort Lauderdale, I'm Bob Norman, Local 10 News. I don't know what your thoughts on the matter are, folks, but I think that's fucking bullshit. Complete bullshit. For all all the scum on the streets, for all the people, the murderers, rapists, child molesters, all these other things they could be focusing their energy on, they want to go clamp down on an old man that's doing a good thing and feeding people that are hungry. What if that was your family? You know, as a matter of fact, folks, that is somebody's family out there living homeless. Now, I understand that a great deal of homeless people are homeless because they gave up on life and they'd rather do dope, but they're still people and they still matter to somebody. And if they're hungry, the right thing to do is to feed them. I won't give an aggressive panhandler a fucking dime, especially if they're aggressive about it. But if somebody's hungry and I have it, if I got 10 bucks in my pocket and I see somebody on the side of the road and their pride is gone. They're holding a sign that says, I'm hungry. Guess what? I'm going to hit the nearest fucking McDonald's or wherever, get them a value meal, swing by, hand them a sack and a drink, and leave. Anything could happen to anyone at any time, and you could be right there. Somebody that you love could find themselves in harm's way, living on the street, starving. So I think whoever came up with this ordinance is a dick sucker. And I think it's bullshit. And hey, let's let's get moral about the situation for a second, okay? It's the right thing to do. If somebody's hungry, you feed them. You don't have to give them money for dope or anything, but it's not going to kill you to feed somebody. Put a little something in their belly. Help them out, because here's the thing, and I don't care what your beliefs are, and you can spare me any of your uh, agnostic, atheist views, because they don't mean shit to me, okay? This is not what this is about. But for my beliefs... I do believe, and I know in my heart, that one day I'll be dead and gone. And guess what? When that happens, at some point I'm going to have to stand before God and give an account of all my wicked sins, all my evil ways, as well as my good deeds. I'm going to have to give an account for everything that I did, and so are you. So do you really want to face God face to face and tell him, well, I couldn't feed this homeless person because... Uh, I thought I was better than him. I looked at him like he was less than human. Oh, they passed a law that said I couldn't feed him, so I was just obeying the law. You know, I don't care if they go nationwide with this law. If I see somebody that's hungry, somebody needs some help, I'm going to help them. I broke worse laws than that already in my lifetime, folks. I promise you, if somebody needs help and I have it to give, I'm going to give it. The situation makes me sick, and I think that it's bullshit. Folks, if you see somebody in need, reach out and help them. Because one day that's going to be you. And when you reach out and nobody's there to give you a helping hand, you're going to know what it feels like. It's time to start doing the right thing. Oh, and here's another thing. 
Now here's a cocksucker I have a problem with. Their so-called mayor. This guy's a real cowboy, ain't he? What a fucking hard on. We enforce the laws, Fort Lauderdale. Yeah, my fucking hero. Good job. I'm so proud of you, dude. You enforce the laws, right? You enforce the laws. What's well, funny? Being that you enforce the laws at Fort Lauderdale. And you're so proud of yourself for picking on a 90-year-old man that's doing the right thing. Look at this shit. Yeah, just look at all these sex offenders right there. Registered sex offenders in Fort Lauderdale. According to our research of Florida and other state lists, there are 561 registered sex offenders living in Fort Lauderdale as of November 8th, 2014. Yeah, for every 304 citizens in your city, there's a monster. Why don't you guys take all your resources and clean up your streets? How about get all the sexual predators, all the sexual offenders, all the baby rapers, all the rapists, all the child molesting motherfuckers, once you get them off your fucking streets, and then you can jump up on TV and talk about how proud you are that you're enforcing the law. We enforce the laws, Fort Lauderdale. Go fuck yourself. Don't ever look